Hey guys and welcome back to Satisfactory where we are currently in the process of researching a hard drive. We've got 10 minutes on that. We are also in the process of doing uh, some of these uh, systems that we've got on the go just now. Um, so uh, a gentleman by the name of Willem something. I apologize. Um, sent me a, a really cool build that you can do um, inspired by my own. Um, that uses the these things conveyor pole stackables as a way to spin belts. I think the way it worked was I don't know. I don't know how big it was. I'm guessing that's pretty much it. Um, I think it needs to be one wider. Okay, then yeah, then it goes like that, and then we drop one there, and then that goes up there, and then the same here. We get a box. Looks like I need to drop that here first. Oh, I need concrete. Oh, God damn it! why didn't you say so? Nope, not there. This one. Alright. Uh, sort of that as well. Okay, and I put the conveyor pole there. Okay, there's that, and then that turns to go there. You know, and then that's you got your... That's how you move up the ranks. And the thing that, the, the beneficial thing with this is that you can also have a... Oh, that's slightly off. It doesn't need to be just a single. You can stack them on top of each other and you can have a double belt in. So I could have this going six up. And right now we've got um, we've got this section that we've got on the go here, which is very long and sweeping. But instead we could do this. Another benefit as well is that you get a staircase going all the way up. So I'm going to give that uh, I'm going to give that a little go because I feel like that's. One of the coolest ways that I've seen in order to do this. Um, I was under the impression that these conveyor belt things could only stack a certain amount high. Which is why I just never used them. But since I got shown that on Twitter, that was pretty cool. I think Twitter's probably, I think that's the probably the best thing for Twitter. Like I really dislike it as a platform but it's really cool that you guys can quite easily send me things like that. All oh, right. That's the thing. I know that this is all set up as well, but I really want to. I really want to see what I can do with this. Now, if we remove that, okay. My inventory is just full of junk now, so we need to go and drop that off. So I hope you're happy Willem, but this is like the 20th based re redesign <laughs> and I blame you entirely for this one. Right, let's sort this one out, toss those in, 
Hey, I don't need coal. And I don't need a yellow power slug just now. Okay. That's got five minutes left on it. But yeah, I really want to see if I can get this going. Let's pick up all of that, pick up all of that. Okay, and that's going there. Remove those. I need to sort that, get rid of all of that. Okay, walls, I need the double conveyor to come in here. Okay, and then... There's nothing stopping me pulling it forward and starting here, you know what I mean? That way the first thing that we can do is get... Oh, that's a merger. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's my logistics? The splitter and a merger, there we go. Okay, so you have belt coming in there. I think this needs to be a Mark III belt anyway. Okay, it needs to be in line with whatever that is that it's hooking onto. Not one further forward. Okay, so that can go there. Can I do that and then still have... No, I can't. I can't put the wall conveyor there. I wonder... I wonder if there's a way to... That is there. Ah, so that was the one that was encroaching another's clearance. Oh, the conveyor belt's too short to do that. Interesting. So that's that's the one from the wall. That really sucks. Uh, can I instead, instead of using the wall conveyor, can I just do that? Can I just make that door? So instead of doing any of that, it's not some Mark II belt. It's totally fine as long as I actually put the splitter in the right position. Was that perfect? So it just spits out from a door, which looks perfectly fine if you ask me. Right, and then the Mark III belt can go there. And then we can have the second Mark III belt there. Okay, that's still a Mark III, and this one's obviously still a Mark Okay, so then... I think one of them has to go obviously straight and the other one has to go up. My brain needs to function this. My brain needs to figure this one out. Um. So, 
Right, that needs to go round to there. Then up to there. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, that one can't go up there. It needs to... Ah, it needs to come round into here. And up to there. Okay, perfect. So that's how they work. This thing just like, it th absolutely throws you about. Okay, so I'm gonna need... And we're gonna need... Oh, it just launches shit off. Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, so there's the there's a splitter there or one of these. No, has to be there. Okay, <laughs> this is a freaking nightmare, man. Just the way it throws you around. Right, what I need to, oh my god, what I need to do is get, there we go, is get on this. Right, I think it's that one to there, and that one. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. This is a, uh, it's not going to lie, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to do. Okay, let's. Stack these up. But I still think it's going to be better than the other stuff that I was doing as well. So I don't mind doing this. Uh, that's a splitter. Okay, I think this here. Uh, you can do it. There we go. Wait a second. Ah, that. Okay, that can't do that. That has to go up there. And come round to here. Which then has to go up here. Okay, and then come round to... Okay, does that look right? Okay, and then you come round to here. Okay, and then there's this other one here, which has to go up to here, and then round to there. Then up to here. No, I'm stuck. Mother. There we go. <laughs> this is just nuts. See if you removed all of these stackable conveyor poles, it would just, it would be absolutely crazy. You would just be getting flung around like mad. Okay, let's bring that one up. And then you need to go up to that. Okay, and then this splitter here.
that can be... Well, can I get a foundation to actually stand on just now, please? There we go. Okay, Jesus, H. Right, so if I do... Not that. If I toss a splitter here, and then we get... Oh, I can't afford it. I was like, you what? You what, mate? This is, this is nice. This is a way that I can do a sixth layer and not have to worry. I mean, the entire point was to, to go vertical. So, this is just like, insanely cool. Just the fact that, like, I should just be using, what? I should just be using steel for everything. Like the Mark Three, the Mark Three belts. Because it's just the cheapest thing for me to make just now. Not the cheapest, but it's very easy and I'm making a ton of it. Uh, let's go and check this hard drive. Because we're 50 minutes into the episode and it started at the start of the episode, so. It should be done by now. I'm surprised the woman didn't tell us. Oh, okay. Hey! So I can use. Uh, alternate blueprints for screws, for modular frames, or steel ingots. Oh, that's fucking... That's tough. Can I close that out still? Yeah. Okay, so... Right, let's, uh, let's have a little look at exactly what they are. So... Six screws equals... Or rather, one. What the fuck are they called? Uh, one rod equals six screws. Okay, that's not too bad. Then modular frames. It's three reinforced iron plates and six rods equal one mod. And what was the other thing? Steel ingots, which is three plus three equals one steel. But does that use less coal? Because coal's obviously the oh, coal's obviously the main thing that we're struggling with just now. No, it doesn't. It uses more coal, but I'm guessing. I'm guessing instead of making. Does 45 parts per minute, so what's the... Can I make a foundry? I can't, I need three... Reinforced beams. Or whatever these are called, industrial, encased industrial beams. Oh, mate. I just want to place this down to see... So it makes 30 a minute. Okay. So... Yeah. The the extra three coal gets turned straight into steel. Okay, that... That's okay, but it's not... It's not something that's... Incredible. I mean, two iron or Yeah, two iron ingots straight into screws, though? That seems nuts. So what have we got just now? Why does this shit not fit here? That's bullshit. So... We get 90... 90 uh, screws per minute. Just now. And that would still make 90 per minute, but instead of the things, it would be two iron ingots. And the modular frame, I would make six of them per minute. But instead of... Ah. No, see... That modular frame is six uh, six rips, six reinforced iron plates. I instead of three. Oh, but only uses four. Ooh, it makes four per minute. Mm. So you get six and... S 
six and six as opposed to three and four. And what's the other thing? Six steel pipes as opposed to iron rod, six iron rods. Yeah, I still don't feel like that's a good fucking bet. I feel like that's, you're using more iron plates in order to get slightly more modular frames per minute. But the iron, the reinforced iron plates are the ones that are a prick to actually make. I think the screws, I think the screws are actually the best thing to, to, to grab off of this one. Alright. Data oh. on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. I mean that's that's a bloody good that's a bloody good trade, the fact that we can now just make screws out of Does it even show me? So show me how I need to research it in the ma'am. Ah uh, yeah, I do. I need to do the the screw on it in the ma'am. Okay, let's go and pick up the stuff and we'll get we'll do that straight away. Yep. I need fucking. Oh, I need 15. I just picked up 45. Right, let's just take the 100 then. Apparently, I've got some um, belts missing. Someone was telling me, so I need to. I need to actually give that a check. All right, so let's research this. A push. I mean, I could do mushrooms as well on the object spanner. Oh, it's scanner. Okay, so that's that, and then does it actually come... Yeah, alternate screw. Yeah, so it's two of them for 12 screws as opposed to one of them for six. But if that's one of them for six... Yeah, it's the exact same price. It's the exact same price except you're cutting out a, an entire bloody step. That is beautiful. But uh, unfortunately, guys, that's all we've got time for in this episode. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Studio. You've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.